everybody. It's nice to see everybody again after my long uh, vacation. Um, okay, uh, well, I do run Miss Connie's Estate Sales. My signs are yellow and black. You see this yellow and black sign? It has to say Miss Connie or else you're not at the right sale. <laughs> a lot of people get mistaken when they see the yellow and black sign. They think it's Miss Connie's sale and then it isn't. Uh, it has to say Connie on it or else. <laughs> okay, I do service the whole valley pretty much Sun City West, Sun City. Um, I've gone to Chandler, Scottsdale. I got a, one in Scottsdale to do in a couple of weeks. So I do kind of spread myself around uh, to make available my, you know, my services. Uh, normally when I start with a customer, I give them a contract. I let them know what the contract says. And usually I, I tell them, <coughs> before they read it that, you know, I will um, advertise in three different places. So I advertise in, uh, on Craigslist or uh, if it's in Sun City or Sun City West, I use the Daily Sun News. And they normally put it on the internet for me. So I got three sources to, to advertise, plus the signs I put out. People like to follow signs. so. Um, I start out with a customer and uh, let them know that I, I charge 25% of the proceeds and uh, if there's a vehicle, uh, boat, or uh, anything uh, of that nature, uh, then it's a different price. You know, I give them a different quote because if I said 25% of a vehicle, I might as well sell cars <laughs> instead of uh, doing uh, the state sales. So. It's not fair to the customer to be charging that much. So I do go in and um, price everything, set it up. I, I should say set it up and price everything. And I usually uh, use a number system, which I'll pass this around so you can see what, I, uh, what I'm talking about. And everything in the house gets categorized. So that way when their customer gets their receipt, uh, I will give them a... Um, chart with those numbers plus uh, what each one of them represents. So they kind of know what they got for a sofa, how much the sofa sold, how much the uh, kitchen table and chairs sold. You know, it's a little more detailed. So, uh, and then I tell them also that when I'm all through, uh, I can donate it for them. Uh, if they have a specific place they want me to donate it to, I can I make arrangements for, uh, for that, so whatever uh, organization is picking it up, they, you know, they can, I have it all ready for them. Uh, we also leave the house in, in a very clean and orderly manner, so it's ready for the person who's taking over the house. Uh, they can walk in and know they don't have to go scrubbing and cleaning when they walk in, or <clears throat> get it ready for a realtor who is trying to sell the, the home and make sure that it's accept acceptable and clean for them so they can view the home. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what else I can tell you other than um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I, do, I, I do antiques, I sell antiques and, and I do have a person who takes care of those items for me and we get the best value for them. Uh, whatever the going rate is, because sometimes you can't always get the value of a tr of a of an antique because people are not buying, you know, at this point. They're, you know, things are so low that they won't pay the price of what an item is worth. So you have to. It's a challenge trying to get get your money out of so those item items. Um, well, let's see what. Is there any questions? <clears throat> 